I'm just tied, thinking yeah. about, you know, for the fans of the Heavy Rain series, yeah. they might... They might Beyond be... Two Souls, have you heard about that game? The new one? Yeah, yeah Beyond looks Two great. Souls. Looks fantastic. With the girl from uh, Juno? No? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what's or her name? Inception. Uh, the... I forgot, I forgot her name too. Yeah, we'll put it on the bottom. Put her name. Uh, but uh, yeah, I have no clue. What about Dom? What do you think as far as like a heavy rain type game? Do those graphics need to be continue to be pushed? Since it's not necessarily you're playing that game. I mean, is it? Well, my opinion is when you get to games like that, I think back honestly to Final Fantasy X. You know what I mean? Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy X. X. You're watching a movie and the graphics were amazing. Mm -hmm. And then when you get to the actual gameplay, they're two completely different realms. Mm -hmm. That's how I view. The heavy rain type thing, but heavy if rain, gonna, it's, it's basically like a movie the yeah, whole if you're, time. If you're no, gonna playing a movie the yeah. whole time, then yeah, yeah, make it a movie, movie graphics. If you're gonna be actually moving a character around and doing stuff, then don't press, don't press the graphics that okay, much. Okay, see, I think we're all kind it, of in the same boat with that. You know, as far as if it's a game where you're playing, you know what I'm saying? Like a game, like let's say like a classic Nintendo game. Like if it's like Mario, or if it's like Donkey Kong, right, right. you know, fast paced type deal, then you definitely want to worry more about sure. the you know the gameplay and not really have to worry about pushing it to the you know core edge as far as graphics go. But I mean, yeah, it's all it's a discussion. Gameplay, yeah, gameplay. Yeah, game, we, all game, we all kind of say gameplay is kind of where well, it's at. That's, that's yeah, why they're called up, video but, games. They're yeah. not videos. They're video games. Yeah, I mean, if you want to watch a movie, go watch a movie. If you, you want to watch a movie, yeah, okay. If you want to yeah. watch good graphics, put that's Avatar right. in. Yeah. If you want yeah. to play a good game, some people say they they want to they want to watch that and they want to play that. Some people say I mean that's what I think when I see like Batman. That makes me want to go play, you know, Arkham straight City. up, yeah, straight up, yeah. You know, so I think people want to say like, okay, well, Batman, you know, the movie Batman Begins or the Batman album, I want to be able to play it looking exactly like that someday. I mean, photorealistic, basically. So, I mean, is is that even possible to have photorealistic graphics? You know, I, I think if, kind of, I think if, a long way. if games were to go to that extent, then they would be too real. Because the thing about Parents video games, flip. the thing about video games is you're in a virtual world per se. You're not in a reality. You know what I mean? Mass Effect Three. There is no way, knock on wood, that a Reaper is gonna come down to Earth and start destroying. All right, what's up, everybody? We are back for the last segment in the main topic here, and we're gonna talk about a very heavy, uh, controversial or firestorm topic that I brought into this whole thing. Basically, um. My source, and I'll quote that with very loosely, like I put in the paper, my source told me that we're going to see uh, Metroid on the Wii U and on the 3DS being developed by Retro Studios. And we just kind of wanted to go into more about that source. And really, there wasn't my source where he got it from. There wasn't some like Nintendo official, like Miyamoto didn't go up to him and said, we had, we're doing Metroid. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a, a WADA that went up to him and told him. It wasn't some secret thing. He was piecing together information from what Retro has said and from what information that we've got about this. So I'll just kind of lay it down to you guys as far as what information that we do have, what has been said and how my source put this together and with a little bit of inside information talking to some employees and things like that. So basically the first piece of information is there was an interview with Retro, I forgot how long ago it was, but there was an interview saying that, you know, Retro said we're doing a game that everybody wants us to do. So I mean, for me, everybody wants associates them with, with Metroid, with the Prime series. So that's like basically the first piece of evidence my source said that where he got it from. On top of that, as far as gaining inspiration or getting more from like, you know, Metroid Dread. That's the that's the 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 handheld game that's been rumored forever. That was rumored in there. They basically put like a little clue in Metroid Prime Corruption Three that it was coming, and you know, now would be the great time basically to bring that out. You got the Wii, you got the 3DS. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have cross-platform play type deals like that. So that would be the best time for them to bring that out. So a Wii U and a Metroid title. So he was kind of looking at things like that and piecing together information from just previous stuff. There's been rumored of a Wii U Metroid. This is not the first time that it's been rumored. Um, so whether you believe it or not, that's up to you guys. I mean, like I said, this source, he's right literally by 25% of the time. You know, he's not always right on things. But he, like I said, it's 25%. He's not always wrong. So... Just going based on some of the evidence that we've had, you know, what do you guys think as far as a Metroid game coming out on the Wii U and on the 3DS? I mean, for me at least, I mean, come on. There's going to be Zelda. There's going to be Metroid. There's going to be Donkey yeah. Kong. I mean, it's yeah. Nintendo. It's not like it's Sony where they make new IPs all the time. We, Nintendo makes the same franchises. So, yeah. I mean, what do you guys well, think? Well, they've been doing it for years. I yeah. Think. We do agree with you. I don't think it's a question of... Uh, if they're going to do it, I think it's when, when. and when and how are they going to do it? Because yeah. I think they have a lot of flexibility 
with the the Wii U, you know, with the the handheld screen, yeah. you know, on the cross platform with the 3DS, they could do a lot of, of good stuff. I don't think it's going to come out soon, no. but I think we'll definitely see it and later on. A lot of the things that's been tripping people up, I heard a lot of people saying, "Oh well, how do they gain inspiration?" You said concept started back in 2010, and then they gained. They did both games. No, if you look, what I was basically saying is that. Yes, concepts. Yes, they were working on Mario Kart 7. Yes, they helped, but they were thinking of the concept of working with the Wii U and working on Metroid. So that's basically what I was saying, just concepts. Nothing concrete. I can't tell you. I don't work for them, so I can't tell you that. My service can't tell you that. So, I mean, whatever that is, like, it's irrelevant. Metroid is probably going to come to the Wii U at some point. Really, I think what a lot of people were saying is, oh, well, how they gain inspiration back in 2010. No, they, they saw the E3 press conference. Nintendo announced that Metroid was coming, or that um, Smash Bros. was coming out for the Wii U and the 3DS with no information. They just said it. A lot of just said it on stage, and you know maybe they saw that and they're just like, oh, okay, cool. That's something maybe that we could do that could be really cool with Metroid, especially that type of game. You know what I'm saying? Maybe having like a 2D game and then having the 3D game. You know, or who knows? So I mean, I, he's just put he's just putting together information. Yeah. So and he's just based on that. I mean, if he's right, I mean, cool. Obviously, yeah. if he's right, cool. I don't. He's not right, gonna get cool. mad about it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> if he's right, cool. If he's wrong, then oh well, then he's wrong. But trust well, me, there will be a Metroid game on the Wii U. I mean, yeah. and there will be a Metroid game on the 3DS. So yeah, I think it's gonna. <laughs> I think it's gonna happen. Yeah, it will. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna develop. I don't know who's in. A, I don't know the, any of the story aspects. That's something that we could talk about even. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I put on my website. I have a um, a Metroid. Uh, a Wii U, like a hit list thing that I do where I kind of count down what games I want to see on the Wii U. Games that haven't been like Mario and what, like, what I want them to do. Yeah. And um, I put that on there, definitely check it out. And um, basically, I, I would think, you know, Metroid has this thing where Metroid Prime, I know you played the original Metroid Prime. I did. Where you scan. Yes. You scan, scan, and it, and scan the environment. It's dude. kind of slow. Yeah. It's a bit slow. I mean, being yeah, able to do that. It's been a while since I played Metroid Prime 1. But. Yeah. Being able to do that in real time with the, with the camera. You know what I'm saying? And having the information displayed on there, not stopping the action, and if you do want to pause it, you can pause it, but if you want to just quickly read the information that's on there, I think that can be really cool. Doesn't So you're not pausing, because one thing about Metroid is that you're always pausing that game. Yeah. Because you're backtracking, you're looking at maps, you're always pausing in that game. That game's always stopping. So I'm mean, being able to have that Wii U touchscreen to where you don't, you have the map right there, you don't have to pause the game, you have information laid out on your, what you scan right there, you don't have to pause the game. I think that'll help with the you know fluidity, especially when you're heavily backtracking, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. So Yeah, when you're going back to the first stages of the game to get <laughs> piece that you couldn't get until you got four stages forward, that type of thing. What what's your thoughts on the as far as the rumor goes, as far as that goes? Are, are you gonna are you gonna flame flame me right now? Me, I'm I'm the diehard. I, the only Metroid I ever played was the impossible one on the NES. <laughs> the, 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 the impossible. One. You should play Super Metroid yeah. on the Super Nintendo. The one that, the one that defied the laws of physics. Well, if you come up, if, if you ask my friend Andre, my friend Andre, he, he he can beat that game pretty easily. Well, I beat it too, but it doesn't mean it was easy. <laughs> That's true. That's I, true. You know, I was. That game, yeah. Yeah. That game but, came out in what years? I would maybe uh, like eight. When I was playing it. Six. Yeah, he came out a long back time ago. Back in the day. It came out back in the day. Long time ago. I thought the first Metroid on GameCube was pretty tough too. Yeah, oh, was it like, and it, yeah, oh, yeah, and that oh, was yeah. like kind of a that was a different kind of. I mean, it was one of those games like, well, it was long. First of all, it was pretty challenging. The, and it, what's cool about that one is that you're the like you don't talk, no dialogue at all, mm -hmm. or anything like that. You're kind of alone on the planet, which mm -hmm. is pretty odd. I thought it was kind of cool in a way. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'll do? Is that the? Um. I don't think you that's, that's going to be the direction, direction nowadays. Or is if it going to be more direct? Because it was one play single player experience, you know. Well, were they trying to do multiplayer with hunters on the DS? They tried to do Me some Metroid Prime uh, Echoes and Echoes. Echoes on the tried, They Metroid. tried to do some multiplayer stuff too. Yeah. Do you think that this that if there was a new Metroid uh, next gen, is it going to be a multiplayer experience? No. Because Metroid, they gonna do that? Metroid is one of those franchises where it's just it was made to be a single player game. It wasn't made to be a multiplayer game. Yeah. Like Mario, you got Mario and Luigi, so you got a multiplayer game. You know? Right. You have, you know, Super Smash Brothers. You have Mario Kart. Those are designed yeah, multiplayer. multiplayer games. Yeah. Metroid, it's like okay, it's Metroid. Yeah. Just pick the game up and play. It's not 
Oh, let's get all my homies down here. Let's play some that's, Metroid, you know? Yeah. When yeah. was the last time you heard of a Metroid, you know, get together? Metroid <laughs> party. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I tried. I invited, I invited people and nobody came. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. I invited. I had Metroid Prime. I was like, hey, I remember, I remember specifically calling you, Anton, one time. I was like, do you want to play some Metroid Prime 2? You goes, Yes. And you were just you like, I don't but you said, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I remember in high school yeah. calling you and saying, you want to play some split screen Metroid Prime Echoes? And you were like, no, I'm yeah. playing Crimson Skies or something. Like, <laughs> Crimson Skies? Yeah, I, I just remember. I, I, it was a long time ago. You probably yeah. remember. Why but, did it, dude, Crimson Skies was pretty <laughs> badass game, man. For those of you who don't know Crimson Skies, dude, this is a great game. Yeah. Back in the day, man, I don't know, was it free with the Xbox? But yeah, it was a, I played it for a few Days. <laughs> a few minutes. Nah, a few. I think you play it for, you know, a good, like, few hours. Yeah. Wait for so. a free game or whatever it was. I don't know. It's better than playing Angry Birds, because I played Angry Birds for, like, two seconds. That was my extended Yeah, Angry there you go. I, I knocked over one bird and he flirted. I was like, oh, that's cute. Click. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and that was that, yeah. Just... Exactly. So... Yeah. Yeah, but right. with the, I mean, with Metroid, I mean, kind of what I want to see with Metroid, especially on the if it was on the Wii U, um, another thing, I like the isolation theory that you're talking about, isolation, I would love, because the Wii U can stream data, or can stream audio, so it can stream separate audio from the TV to the gamepad. It's kind of like the Wii Remote, but it's yeah. not, not crappy. Like the Wii Remote is kind of crappy. <laughs> well, the Wii Remote sounds like a radio. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like a radio. So now they're going to have a little okay. bit better audio in there. So I thought it would be, I mean, maybe this is kind of an out-there idea, it doesn't really help gameplay, but that I thought it would be cool to be like, when you're fighting somebody, since you are Samson, you kind of hear her inner thoughts, hear her talking. Yeah. Okay, like, what's nah. on the environment? Or, like, if you mark somewhere on your map, like, let's say you mark somewhere on your map, like, hey, I need right. to go back onto here. Like, let's say if you're going back past that place, she's like, Samus will say something like, oh, I like, wasn't there something I had to check her out around here? Or there was something that I remember being here. So stuff kind of like that, kind of saying her inner thoughts. Like if she's in a tough battle, just like, you know, I kind of want to hear her. I mean, you hear her a little bit, but I, I want to hear what she's thinking I mean, in her head. You know? Definitely cool. Yeah. Especially One thing you, that I wouldn't yeah. want to see is having to collect the pieces of your suit. That's... Oh, no. You do that in like see. every... Like, where you lose all your powers and then you get it all back? Is that what you're saying? Or are you talk about Metroid, like, fusion on the Game Boy Advance? Like, what, 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 are, you, what are you talking I'm talking about? like you start off with nothing. Bear. And you gotta go find all your stuff. That's been, like, almost every Metroid. No, but, like, no. Metroid Prime Corruption 3 didn't do that. But almost every metro is like, you don't, you, you barely got anything. Yeah. No, you start off with your suit. Yeah, but I'm talking about, I don't remember which metro it was, but it was the one where you pretty much didn't have your suit when you started. Okay, you're talking about, you're talking about Metroid um, Zero Mission? I don't even remember. It was that bad of a game. No, you know, no, 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 no. There's never been a metro to where you don't have your suit from the very beginning. Like, you're just screwed. There's never been a metro. There was a Zero Mission where it comes out and, like, you play a Zero Suit Samus, but I, I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about as far as... Like Metroid game that you don't start with your suit, like we're just like, you're just like oh crap, no suit at all. I gotta I gotta actually find pieces. There's Metroid Fusion where your suit's infected and then like they take it off and then like you're in like a little like fusion type suit with like weak armor, and, like you could absorb enemies. There's that, but there's never I don't I don't know what Metroid you're talking about. Do you know, you know it, was, it, was, it was that bad of a game. You've <laughs> never heard of it. You've never yeah, heard of it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, know. I don't know what Metroid you're talking about. I don't but, um, know. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. It was a long time. That's what you, you do always start though, like bare bones. I do remember that. Yeah, on the first oh, yeah, right. I remember this. That you start bare me. bones. Yeah, the freaking laser goes about this far on the screen. Yeah, and then you got a little piece shoot. That's true. Yeah, and you got this. Yeah, and then once you get your rockets, you're set. Yeah, yeah you need the rock, the super rockets. Uh, you play Super Metroid, yeah. the super rockets, and they were. No, I'm talking cool. about the NES where you just get rockets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the old school man. The old Keep school. Keep it old school. Well, no, I mean Metroid. I mean, and like I said. My site, really, uh, we don't post up rumors. Like, honestly, we hear things all the time. Like, we hear rumors from there. We don't post rumors. So people think, oh, we're just trying to do it for like, publicity. We're just trying Look, man, we're just gamers like everybody else. We just, we just like games. We just like talking about... And I've never posted a rumor on my site. That is actually the first, like, big rumor that I've ever posted. And don't look to my site to be posting crazy rumors or anything like that. I just... I, I hear rumors. Sometimes I... Rep like, if it seems feasible, I'll talk about it. I'll report it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if it no. seems like it's like it's not like I said Mario is going to star in the next GTA alongside Cedric, you know, in GTA. It's not like I said something crazy. It's right. like it's Nintendo making it the Retro Studios, who's made how many Metroids now? 
four and including the trilogy? The trilogy, yeah. Four including the trilogy, like, it's them saying that they're going to make another one. Oh my yeah. gosh, you know, like, big deal. Then there's been a rumor Metroid game on the on the handheld, so it's not a big deal. I don't see why people, some people, some people were freaking out. Some people were like, oh no, it could be true. So, look, if it comes out to be true, gravy. Yeah. But if it's not, it's well, going to come. Somebody's yeah, going to make it, so <laughs> I'm not sure about that. We'll make it if we I'd have be surprised to. if it is. I will make it. We I, will make the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not. <laughs> yes. If they do not make it. So, I mean, that's basically as far as that goes. That's it. So, as far as finishing up, man, just want to thank everybody for um, t 